kwa kwa wewe ni mwema na mwaminifu. Asante baba kwa kwa utaenda kutuhumia. Asante kwa ajili ya roho yako mtakatifu ambao ni mwalimu na kiongozi wetu. Tunakushukuru Mungu wa rehema. Asante kwa ajili ya wenzetu wanaotufuatilia online. Tunawaweka mikononi mwako Mungu wa rehema. Asante Mungu kwa kila njiani kuja mahali hapa. Tunawaweka mikononi mwako Mungu. Kwa tuko tayari kusikia kutoka kwako katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana Mungu wa rehema. Tunaomba tukishukuru wewe mshangilie Bwana Yesu.
kwa rehema katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliyeha asante kwa jina ibada ya sadaka iliyoko mbele yetu tunaiweka mikono mwako Mungu kila anayenyosha mkono wako Mungu are mkono wake baba ili kukutolea wewe Mungu siache kumbariki katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliyeha tunakushukuru Mungu tunakuinua tunakubariki Yehova katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliyeha hebu mshangilie bwana Yesu kwa kuwa amestahili
Tena mshimiwa Ana Lupembe Bunge kutoka Tanzania iko katikati yetu. As I said, honorable Ana Lupembe uh, from Tanzania is here with us. She's the honorable parliament. Wakajana alikuja kwa bunge moja this time ameza kuleta na bunge mwingine wa pili. So last year she came alone and this time around she she's come with another one the multiply Hako na kitu kizuri kama kwa na wabunge katika ibada. There's nothing good such as having a honorable parliament in our services. Mara mara nyingi tunawaona wakiwa bungeni. Because most of the time we see them far from their parliament uh, places. Lakini wana pokuja na kukaa katika tieni tunaanza kupata ile harufu ya kwa bungeni. So as they come and sit among us we start having that feeling of uh, being in the parliament. Na kwa mtu yeyote makini. Uh, for everybody who is smart. Anaweza kujua ni opportunity ya kipekee. Could could take this as a opportunity that comes once or a unique opportunity. Are we all together? Because people are just seeing us sitting there. You think us is a regular person of life, some of us. But her own place is a big place, it's a high rank. Are we all together? So as we get up somebody like her among us, we thank God. Kupitia kwa mbunge kama mheshimiwa Anna through a uh, uh, parliament like an honorable Anna Anna weda ka connect you to get back to rais so she can be able to connect you so you can meet the president are we all together are we all together ndio maana ukikaa kwenye huduma ya umoja tegemea siku moja unaweza kawa safi That is why when you are with us in Umoja Ministry, someday you will be somewhere. Wala mkesho kesho kutwa kama serikali inahitaji mtu hapa Marekani. Sia atakupendekeza wewe au mimi sasa. Because today or tomorrow if the government needs somebody who is dwelling in the US, she is able to connect you. Ona bana ile ile. How many of you understand this? Kopiga makofi na vigeregele kwa jina la Mungu. Unakuja kushangaa, unakuja na hapo unakuja kushangaa. You may be surprised, tell your neighbor you may be surprised. Siku moja watakuwa wabunge ni wengi kuliko nyewe washiriki mji wako. And what day we will have so many parliament more than Some of us will be coming here all the time. You know, it's a kind of It's doable, it's possible. But I'm more. When you are not more. Because when the honorable decide. Tell them that I'm going to put you on the board. But for that, next year, I'm going to be in America. See you tomorrow. So when she says she speak with other parliament that it is important that we go to the US on the, our conference it will be possible. But it is also good for us to create that good environment for her. So that she can see that we are serious and committed to what we are doing. Ili akileta hata mheshimiwa mwingine hapa anajua hajamwangusha. So that when she brings another uh, honorable parliament she want to be put to share. Angapo ndio watu. How many of you understand what I'm talking about? Kwa hiyo baadaye so later on mheshimiwa anakuja kutusalimia. Our honorable parliament will be in front to give us a beautiful greetings. Kwa hiyo nikumbushe baadaye mheshimiwa atatusalimia. So please remind me at the end of the service so that the uh, our honorable parliament is come and greet us. Jambo la pili, second point, 
We'll be having a very short or brief meeting after our service. That will take us about 10 minutes because our choirs will, will be having a rehearsal after that. Are we all together? It's going to be a very short uh, meeting. So the next uh, Sunday we will not be having a service because we be all on our conference, our ninth conference. Yeah, uh, things like those ones, to, at those times we be all running up and down to finish up or closing the conference. And the way it looks like, this is a big conference that we've never had before. So, instrumentalists and choirs, do not let us down. Today, I'd like us to talk about the title that says, Mungu, God, ataka kumuwa Musa. Wanted to kill Moses. Mungu, God. Akikasirika. When he's upset. Utasahau kama ni Mungu upendo. You will forget that he's a loving God. God who called Moses he got at the point he wanted to kill Moses. There's another place in the Bible God said God said so he said, I regret, why did I make Saul to be a king? Do we get a point? He said, I am disappointed. Do you want God to get a point where we'll be regretting because of you? How many of you would like God to regret because of you? God that anointed Saul to be a king. He got at the level where he said, I regret, why did I anoint Saul as a king? God says, I regret. Now, that God is not God. David. David is not God. There was a time David made God upset. And when David uh, got, got upset, and God told David, I'm giving you three things. Choose one that I will punish you. So when God got a point where he tells you I got three things, choose one. My brother here. I got to put a in his clothes here, but he don't tell you to pray like a piece. To God show you how to plan. We agreed to pray for something. Because God that we 
Hata wangi mpo. Aweza katua musha. Nikani ima let us down. Kwa hali kamutia fanya fila popo fanya lakini inyulishi. So I told him do this and then you will let me know. But then I got a message of permission. And later on I got a message from him. And I felt strengthened. Clap for the Lord Jesus Christ. It is God who never failed on any issue. Are we all together? To me, she can do what she wants. Amen. 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 And who knows what David chose? Nani mama? Anaga mama kuja kutoa wema tibi na mungu katika mata kwa kitu moja ya kwa chakua. Nala pumuka ala kwa chakua ni. Who remember what David chose? Najua kumini pamo na wengine na nini pia mchangi. Jesus never took a jar of water and gave it to him. Do not say that the pastor only invited his wife to say something. Our brother Joshua said, "Do you know?" I'm about to make a plan with Joshua. Galau to fari kumara abada no me tulado aki masobasi. Please give the mic to brother Joshua. Mungu mungu ali wamia tauni achabuwe tauni. Ugonjwa wa tauni kwa miaka saba amanjaa kwa siku no tauni siku saba amanjaa kwa miaka saba amen akala mejaribu as you have tried akala mejaribu you have tried unless you know the word of God unless you know the word of God I don't know what you can say you can say you will not uh, worry about Satan. Who else can contribute to this, Sister Jessica? Na mi isi na kasa ni mesao la kiyo kusapoti ni ula mamchungari alisema ni tarukia ni kuni mako sao ni kuni mako kuna usalama na hiko sema ni mungu waka uwa kapika vya watu ya kutaka Okay. So for all of the three things that God wanted uh, thought that David to choose was one. And the first one and kimbie adui yani wafilisti run away from the enemy atakuwa kupigwa na wafilisti to he told him to choose to be uh, beaten by the philistine alafu akatoa nyingine and the second one la tatu sasa and the third one akatea akaambiwa apige na tau david akatagua akasema fadhali hapo ana kupige so david chose kwa sababu kwako And the first punishment that we have to do is to fall on the hand of God. The first punishment is to fall on the hand of God. Seventy people died. That is when now you fall on the hand of God. That point. If you fall into the end of 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 the
Hata wanyama Mungu amekukosea nini unawapiga. Hilo ni pigo la Mungu. God punish them and did David say what did they do why did you punish those ones? Tata malaika kwa mfano kupiga Jerusalem. So when the angel was going to to fight with Jerusalem. Ndio pale andiko ambalo tunaandika mara kwa mara. That is where the word is telling us again and again. Alipofika kwenye kiwanja cha Rauna when he got on the on the place of Rauna Mungu akamtumisha malaika pale. And God told the angel to stop by. Alafu Daudi akaenda akamtolea Mungu sadaka. And David went and gave sacrifice and offering to God. Ili tauni isiendelee. So that that sickness will not continue. Hapo ni Mungu amekasirika. This is when God is upset. Na siku ya leo Mungu amekasirika. Today God is upset. Hata kupiga Musa kumua. He was about to kill Moses. How many of you understand what I'm going about? Are the microphone really good? So now, it has gotten to a point. God told Moses, something not Exodus chapter 3 When you read from Exodus chapter 3 Ukisoma mambo atano kitabu cha kutoka Utaona nini ambapo Mungu anaongea na Musa kutokea mambo atano kuja mambo manne From chapter 3 up to chapter 4 you will see how God is discussing his Moses Na pale Mungu anamweleza Moses And at that point God is telling Moses How we go and deliver the Israelites from the hand of Pharaoh? On the third chapter, he's talking with Moses. On the fourth chapter, God is discussing with Moses. And God got to Moses. He told Moses, he showed Moses that he's God. So when you read the fourth chapter, Mungu akamwambia Musa what you have in your hand. Mungu akamwambia Musa what you have in your hand. So you have in your hand. So you will see how God had Moses on his hand. Musa akasema na yofimu. And with that uh, king. I have a rod. Can you remember? Sasa akaba na nini? Fimbo. And he had a a rod. He had a rod. Mungu akamwambia itupe fimbo hapo chini. Akamwambia itupe fimbo hapo chini. God told him throw your rod down. Alipoitupa na fimbo chini kageuka kuwa nyoka. And when he threw down it turned into a snake. Alipo akamwambia shika wenda ukamkia. He told him touch to the tail of the snake. Alipo shika wenda ukamkia akabadilika kwa fimbo. Na leo tukizungumza, understand what I'm talking about. Kwa hiyo Mungu alipata ishara kadhaa akiwa na Musa peke yake. Samira told when was only with Moses. Kama ni class ni nyokorichi. You can understand me. Kwa hiyo Mungu so God akapata ishara it's a miracle. Akiwa na Musa peke yake. Only with him and Moses. Hakuwepo mtu mwingine baba. Mungu akamtimitishia Musa God made sure to Moses. Ya kwamba atakwenda pamoja na yeye. He will go with him. Baka atakapoingia kwa Farao. Until when he get to the Pharaoh. Kwa hiyo Musa alikuwa anajua uwezo wa Mungu. So Moses knew the power of God. Alikuwa anajua nguvu za Mungu. He knew the authority of God. Kwa sababu ametimitishiwa. Because he saw it. Kwa hiyo baada ya kuona yote hayo He went to his father-in-law. And he saw Jethro. And he 
You may think he has gotten some access. 
Na alikia pale pale. He died right there. Lakini utajua, you will not know. Ya kwamba ndio alikuwa anapenda kwanza appointment yake ya kuuza ba. That he was about to abandon his appointment from God. Makama leo tukizungumza. How many of you understand? Wewe utajua tu alikuwa anakuja kwanza fulani. You will only think that when he was coming. Ilitoka sema kile ilipotoka. He got to a car. Ikatoka ile gari. And you will not know that he was going to do another assignment that is not from God. Mungu atamaliza baada yake pale. God will finish right there. Kwa sababu ni assignment ya Mungu ameka ndani. Because it is an assignment that God has given. Angapo yule kwa kama ni. How many of you understand what I'm talking about? Sasa Mungu ameka assignment now. God has given Moses the assignment. Na assignment na kwenda kwa kuwa Amefika mahali. And he got somewhere. Mungu anaona kwa maana sana. And God said this is important. Rabbi ni nini? Why is assignment? Assignment. Mheshimiwa ama wengine baadaye tutashuhudia. The honorable mayor with my attendance za kuja kwenye hiko kama Rabbi ni assignment ndani yake. Ameka kitu kwanza wakamwambia walipomwambia na hela ilikwenda na maji akakata nyingine tiketi mpya kwa sababu Mungu anataka awe kwenye hiko kama so it's been here the first time and the second time because God want her to be here wewe unatoka nyumbani kuja kwenye kongamano na pia unataka kuja kwenye kongamano they are spending about 6 million of Tanzanian shilling just to come here to the conference. Na mnajua mheshimiwa kama anakuja kutafuta pesa ya anarudi. So kama wewe za kulabie. Kwa kidogo ni sisi na not come and stay forever now. She we go back. So wewe wewe kwa kuja kutafuta pesa, sio ndio? And you know some of us came here to Unajua kuondoka tu lakini kurudi hiyo ni kazi ya Mungu, si ndio? Yeah, so for us to go back just one. Na wote hata tunikaa kutoka lakini kama si rudi. Kama mtu wangu labda uje huko lakini kurudi kwa si rudi. Na mke kwa bila anapenda akaamua kuja huko nifuata. Si ndio? Yes, my wife loved me and she decided to follow me here. Kwa hiyo atushangai mtu kija kwa sababu hakuna ndio kija huko alirudi. We are not surprised if you come or no because most of us come and then don't go. Lakini anapokuja mtu kama mheshimiwa. So when somebody like the other rabble comes. Unajua huyu amekuja kweli kwa ajili ya kongamano. Kwa sababu amekuja na anarudi. She came for the conference and she come and goes back. How many of you understand what I'm talking about? Kwa sababu ni assignment ya Mungu kwamba inabidi awepo Because this is one of the assignment of God for her that she should be here at this time. Why you can't be here? You are coming out. You know what? Now, when you pay the bill, get the assignment. She can't have to achieve. And you know, sometimes when you have such assignment, and then you will not leave you alone. After that, the killer never has to be scared. He will be sure to hold me to this courage so that we not get to that assignment. I get like no shame. But. You will, you must succeed. Never understand what I'm talking about. Tata, now, Musa, Moses, and what an assignment! He was on assignment. Now, I mean, think of my hand. He got somewhere. How can you come up with what you want to attack? And it is, it is something that God didn't like. I'm gonna run here. And God told him that I'm shorting my share. I will shorten your life. Do not play with me. Na dada moja. Na what is that? Baya kuja kwa Yesu na kana kushuhudia. When he became when she became born again she wanted to they said that what you need me to find a me to be my car. Si kukubuki dai. And what you need me to do. She said have done so many abortions. Lakini siku alipoamua kufuata Yesu. And then she decided to get saved. Akiwa baada anaendelea kutembea katika ile uchanga wa upofu and she was still uh, hard to know when 
become born again. Akapata ni And she got Again. And now, say when she was there, the doctor wanted to do that abortion. She was laughed. And she was taught, do not play with me. And she was taught, do not play with me. And she was taught, do not play with me. Some foundation to hide, but yet you can see. And she was really slapped. Oh, yes. Regardless of foundation and makeup, yes, you can see those signs. That was a slap from God. Understand what I'm going about. There are some things of God if you do it wrong. And God can stop everything about you within a second. I can go to the book of Joshua. I remember in the book of Joshua. 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 Who took some stuff and hide it? Tina Laka like a pan. And his name was Akan. Nah, because of a bitch I just zima like a pigwa. And they were beaten. You can pick up a hand. You got to a point where Joshua Akana Kunida Kumoja Moja. Joshua was asking one by one. Nani and a father that will feel us. Who has done what is making us to be defeated? You have done that. And that 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 brother stood up. His name was Akan. Do you know what happened? Do you know what happened? He was taken. And him and his wife, his children, his wife. Zote, all of it. Wakabuwa mawe, wakabuwa makufi, wote kila kitu cha. They were stoned and buried with all of them. Na pita kwenye line ya mungu. When you are crossing the line of God. Kwa hiyo mungu alamotaka kumuwa Musa. So when God wanted to kill Moses. Ni mungu mwenye wibu. God is jealous. Na kipita kwenye line ya mungu. He can do what you cannot believe. Half of the people who are beba are not in the room. The people who are beba are not in the room. The God or God like it or we. Are we all together? Are we all together? Are we all together? Are we all together? Most of the time, my wife tells me. Ata mbaba uyu unafadaka vitu gani kofisini Yani unaingia asubui Unarudi mshiki Asubui unarudi mshiki Akitari kuangamia hile sikejua mina kukwede Lakini asalimi tabo mba minipa But the assignment that God has given me Siwele kukata siku ndemonye I cannot spend even one second Kala kuna jua ni kika Itakufa Because if I spend one second and the mistake I did, I took a very beautiful woman.